Robert Powell's here now in the studio. Robert, it looks a fantastically sort of spectacular film. What sort of man was Finn? Finn is, um, all our knowledge of this part of history comes from his diary, which, which exists. I have a copy of it. Um, he was a, he was a doctor, and not actually, I don't think he was a qualified doctor. He was a medical man who, who emigrated and lived in, in Cape Town. Um, and when they decided to send an expedition up into the north, into Natal, or what was to become Natal, to investigate the uh, goings-on of this mad king up there. Um, they, two white men, led the expedition. One was Finn and the other was Francis Farewell, who was a naval lieutenant. And they ended up by becoming Zulu, almost. Now, was, was he quite a loner? Because you do seem to specialise in playing these slightly anguished, slightly extraordinary parts. No, I don't think so. I don't think he was a loner. Um, Finn, in, in this show, is... Um, is almost the, 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 the conscience um, of the film, in a sense, um, in between the uh, opportunism of the colonials, as represented by uh, the character that Edward Fox plays, and the naivety, if you like, of, of the Zulus at the time, as represented by Shaka. Now, you were actually working with real Zulu actors for this, weren't you? Mm -hmm. What was that like? That was an incredible experience, a remarkable experience. I was deeply shocked when, when the fuss was made. I'm on the United Nations blacklist for doing this. That's simply using the South African facilities? Well, yes, I, I find it very tragic. I, I've been offered many jobs in South Africa, and I've never taken any, and I probably never will again. But this, I believe, you have to be look to your own morality and your own feelings on the subject, and this is a piece of black history that without us would never have been told. And we endow, or the film endows, um, and the director has endowed, the Zulus with a piece of, of dignity from their, about their own history. So you think it's unfair, all this blacklist, and the fact that there were all these objections? I think it's ridiculous. I think it's absolutely absurd. Um, because I, uh, that kind of, of bigotry creates bigotry of its own. Everything has to be viewed in the light of, of, of what it is. It, you can't just sort of blanket uh, across it. It's, it caused uproar in South Africa when it was shown, and the objections were from the whites, because they said that it, 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 it showed the whites for what they were. You know, they, that's mm -hmm. not what they said, but that's, that's, those were where the objections lay. Not with the blacks. They thought it was wonderful. So it was really the, the white objections as much as anything? Absolutely. That's why I made it, because it tells, a, it tells a story that hasn't been told before and that needed telling. Very briefly, did you do a lot of historical research for the role? Because a lot of actors would have really thrown themselves into the historical side of it. Yes, yes, a fair amount. I, I read the diaries, Finn's diaries. At the end of the day, you, you do a certain amount of research and then you throw all that out of the window and play the script. Um, and that's what we did for four months. It was a, an astonishing experience. But we'll probably have problems actually seeing it over here, though. No, nope, I don't think so. Um, I think it's going to be released on video here anyway. But I think that eventually it will be, it'll be shown on television too. Robert Powell, many thanks.